First open start and type CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type SC config wowser start equals auto and then press enter. Type SC config bits start equals auto and then press enter. Type SC config crypt SVC start equals auto and then press enter. Type SC config trusted installer start equals auto and then press enter. Type exit and then press enter. Restart. If that didn't work. First open start and type CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type net stop wow serve and then press enter. Type net stop crypt SVC and then press enter. Type net stop bits and then press enter. Type net stop MSI server and then press enter. Type ren c slash windows slash software distribution software distribution dot old and then press enter. Type ren c slash windows slash system 32 slash catroot 2 catroot 2 dot old and then press enter. Type net start wow serve and then press enter. Type net start crypt SVC and then press enter. Type net start bits and then press enter. Type net start MSI server and then press enter. Type exit and then press enter. Now open start and type PowerShell. Right click PowerShell and select run as administrator. Press yes.
Type wuauclt.x slash update now and then press enter. Type exit and then press enter. Now restart. A Windows update should be repaired. If that didn't work. Open start and type troubleshoot. Open troubleshoot. Click on Troubleshoot Windows Update. Press Run the Troubleshooter. Wait for the program to detect your Windows Update issues. Press Apply this fix. Wait for the program to repair Windows Update. Close the troubleshooter and restart. If that didn't work. Open Start and type Recovery Options. Open Recovery Options. Go to Advanced Startup and click on Restart Now. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Startup Settings. Press Restart. Press your F4 key. Open a folder and go to C. Open the Windows folder. Open the Software Distribution folder. Delete all the contents inside this folder. Now restart.